While the Cold War was marked by ideological clashes and geopolitical tensions, daily life behind the Iron Curtain held a unique set of challenges and experiences. Behind the Iron Curtain, Shopping in the Soviet Union, is a documentary that unveils the intricacies of everyday life in the Soviet Union, focusing on the often overlooked aspect of consumerism. This exploration delves into the complexities of shopping in a state-controlled economy, offering a window into the world of Soviet citizens during the Cold War. Documentary Exploration 1. The State-Planned Economy the documentary begins by providing a historical context for the Soviet economic system, which operated under a centrally planned economy. It explores how this system influenced every aspect of life, including the way people shopped for goods and services. 2. Scarcity and Cues Behind the Iron Curtain scrutinizes the issue of scarcity, a prevailing challenge in the Soviet Union. The documentary delves into the long queues that were a common sight outside shops as Soviet citizens waited for essential goods such as bread, meat, and other basic necessities. 3. Shopping Vouchers and Rationing Exploring the intricacies of Soviet shopping, the documentary examines the use of shopping vouchers and rationing systems. It delves into how citizens were allocated specific quantities of goods, creating a system that aimed to ensure fair distribution but often led to frustration. 4. Consumer Goods and Shortages Behind the Iron Curtain takes a closer look at the availability of consumer goods, or rather the lack thereof. The documentary explores shortages of items like clothing, electronics, and household appliances, shedding light on how Soviet citizens navigated a marketplace with limited choices. 5. The Role of Black Markets Delving into the shadowy side of Soviet shopping, the documentary examines the role of black markets. It explores how an underground economy emerged to meet the demands for scarce or forbidden goods, providing an alternative avenue for those seeking items beyond state-controlled offerings. 6. State Department Stores the documentary shifts its focus to state-run department stores, showcasing how these establishments played a central role in Soviet shopping. It explores the dynamics within these stores, the range of products available, and the state's attempts to showcase a semblance of abundance. 7. Propaganda and Window Dressing Behind the Iron Curtain scrutinizes the role of propaganda in shaping the perception of shopping in the Soviet Union. The documentary explores how the state utilized window dressing and curated displays to project an image of prosperity despite the underlying challenges. 8. Changing Dynamics in the Late Cold War Reflecting on the later years of the Cold War, the documentary examines how economic reforms introduced in the 1980s, such as perestroika and glasnost, sought to address some of the shortcomings in the Soviet economic system. It explores the changing dynamics of shopping as the Cold War drew to a close. Conclusion Behind the Iron Curtain, shopping in the Soviet Union serves as an insightful exploration of the challenges and intricacies of consumerism in a centrally planned economy. By delving into the daily experiences of Soviet citizens, the documentary provides a nuanced understanding of how shopping, a seemingly mundane activity, was deeply entwined with the larger narrative of life behind the Iron Curtain during the Cold War.